Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here for NTMarkets.com with your Wednesday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, 15-minute chart of the ES, and what we saw last night was a low down here at 1799. We've bounced off that low and done about five handles. Uh, we didn't quite make it down to the middle band, which is down in the 97 area, but right now they've bounced it back up towards a descending trend line here on the 15-minute chart, and so far that's proving to be resistance. Um, so it appears to me, and let's hop out on the daily chart real fast. This is what I talked about on the uh, evening webcast last night. You had the pop over the middle band on jobs, two-day float down on the third day we retest. Pop off of jobs, float, float, and we haven't quite retested. That's down at 97. We've come down within a couple of handles. But it seems to me that today is going to be the day that we get some movement, whether we break out or break down remains to be seen, but as long as middle band remains support, uh, then it's advantage bulls. So how am I trading that? Well, on any higher low, we've already done one higher low. Where? 1801 again. 1801. With a little blip over in the overnight, and now we're right back to 1801. As long as 1801 holds up, you... You know, you, any longs are, are against 1801 or alternatively, you know, 97, okay? And if 97 is too much risk, then, you know, you could do 1801 and then you could always try again down there. Um, just understand that if the middle band holds up, it means we're not going down. And if we're not going down, we're going up. I mean, I'm going back to saying that again, okay? If middle band breaks down and becomes resistance, then I think ultimately over the course of the month, we will test the lower band, okay? But we have to stop trading above the middle band, which is all this market has wanted to do since that last jobs report right here. Except for one, two days, and part of a third day, but we pop back over. And now it's time to retest. Is this the closest we get to a retest? Maybe. I don't know. What I do know is at the higher low at 1801, it's really advantage bulls. And I'm looking at this line here. Let me extend that out. A move down to this line that holds um, is, you know, is another indication that it looks like it could be the bulls day. And if the bulls start to move things higher, um, they don't get anywhere if they can't get over the 1808 area. Okay. Um, so 1808 proved to be resistance yesterday. Your daily pivot today is 0525. So the key area is no longer 06. It's 08. Okay. So you're looking at descending trend line, then 08, and then 11 half, which is also proved to be resistance. So we're at a very indecisive time. There are cases to be made for the bears. There are cases to be made with the bulls. And to heavily trade in an anticipatory fashion, saying I think it's going to do X or I think it's going to do Y, you're either going to be very right or very wrong. And I would rather you not be very wrong about anything in the market. Okay? Um, so that's what I'm looking at. We'll have charts throughout the day. Follow us on Twitter at Princeton Trader. Check out the website. Subscribe to the website. Subscribe to the chat room. Come take a uh, come take a trial. Come see what we're doing in there. It's a critical time in the market. Come be a part of it. We'd love to have you. I will be back tonight with an evening recap. Tomorrow morning with another webcast. Trade them well, everybody.